You know what's crazy about this piranha plant? This ain't even a plant. These are slippers. What's happening, everybody? I am here to talk about my favorite games of this year. Now, this year was stacked to the limit. I mean, like, it's just so stacked. I mean, we really didn't have much. We had, like, I'd say big games, like, I'd say monthly. But once June hit, that's when everything just started coming around, like, left and right. And then October happened, and oh my gosh, that's when I almost... Every single game that was a banger decided to come out. Now, I think the best way to start this off is by thinking, going back to what Sonic did was the unthinkable, and Sega was like, you know what, we're gonna kill him. Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog is probably the greatest April Fool's joke we've never seen happen. And one of the funniest jokes about how Sega is gonna kill Sonic with how they're um they're portraying him. But with this small game, it's um it's about three hours long, but it's a very fun mystery game that you can just sit around for about a few hours and then go back to it because you have a lot of fun character interactions the dialogue is very fun it's a very fun experience i definitely encourage you to play it also it's free this one is probably the funniest party game slash battle royale i don't know what you call it um type game that you can just play with your friends party animals is pretty much with gang beasts and Fall Guys put together where <laughs> you have a lot of these stuffed animals um, fighting each other in a Smash Bros type way in a 3D arena and it's probably one of the funniest things yet because whenever these characters go down they'll just have like that slow motion effect and it's the funniest thing yet and yet the costumes as well especially that side up one are all the fun most fun to wear and you just you can just jump in and it's just a fun experience. This is so intense this is so intense this is so intense. Yep, yo, Drew. Play the game, play the game, play the game. That was incredible. That was incredible, Drew. Drew, you are. I always wondered what would happen if you just threw Looney Tunes characters into a horror game. And now I know with Lethal Company. <laughs> this game. I, I don't even know how, how, how it just came out of nowhere with how insane it is to play because I'd say it would really improve a lot though were a lot of the mods because yeah, I just see everyone just like add what, Friday Frazbear, I just see everyone just get Goku skins, doing gritty emotes, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I kind of debated whether or not to add this, or I didn't know where to put this on my list, honestly. I really was not sure at all on where to put Fire Emblem on Gage on this list. But you know what, I think I think I can add this on here, because even though the story is a lot more simpler and less interesting as what, what you had in Three Houses, I still had a lot of fun with a lot of the gameplay, especially with the all the divine rings i think that's what they were called i really can't remember the name because it's been so long since i played it but i had so much fun just using a lot of the other characters Our interactions as well were probably the best things yet because uh, what really drove me in for the previous fire emblem was a lot of the character interactions because this one has thumbs as well especially since your protagonist talks now it really changes it up because for a lot of the silent protagonists they tried to do it from their your their perspective and just give you the, your options while with this one it actually makes your character feel like they're a part of the world as well as they're an actual character living within the series instead of just being silent and just standing there nodding their head back and forth <laughs> the weirdest thing though that i'll never get is how the main theme of this is played um, so, it, you get the only one half, of course, for the first part, but then they have the second half of the song 
locked away behind the DLC. So if you want to hear the other part of the song with the other verses, you have to play that one and then it blends in together to make the whole song. <laughs> This Spider-Man game was really something else. Let me tell you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the the abilities you had with this game were incredible. Because I, I loved a lot of the abilities with this time around instead of just a lot of the gadgets. Because I think that was a big step up with this game around was... Um, you weren't using gadgets as much, but you were using a lot more of the abilities with both Peter and Miles, because with Miles you were using more of his Venom abilities, um, a, a lot compared to how you were in Miles Morales, and then with Peter you had the, the spider legs for a little bit, but then when you got the symbiote, <laughs> let me tell you a little about the symbiote, that gave you a lot more power to work with than anything I expected. I will say though, it, it did get annoying sometimes to just wait with a cooldown for like a lot of the abilities because I would just be sitting there waiting for one little ability to come back after a long cooldown and yet I, I was like maxing things out. I was maxing trying to get as fill out the skill tree as best as possible and it was not giving me any more time to just do those attacks. But other than that though, uh, I'd say the story was... It was... A, it, it, I feel it's... A very simple Spider-Man story compared to a lot of the other ones because I will say I was a bit annoyed with how they did handle Harry and uh, Peter's relationship. I, I was kind of expecting that along with how they treated Venom because I really wanted more with Venom in this game but it was still a fun experience either way. <laughs> I know some of y'all were going to expect this somewhere on my list, but yeah, I'm putting this at number five, and I'll explain later, but first, I gotta say, it's definitely the most fun I've had with an MK game in so long. I think since nine, because yeah, with X, it was there, with, with, with gameplay as well, and then 11, it was interesting for the first half of the game's lifetime but then it was there but with the one it's much more interesting combo wise especially with the cameo system i love the cameo system so much because of the assist system because it makes you get um relive that experience of just doing the tag systems in other fighting games and i love it for that especially with a lot of the other moves a lot especially the story changes i do appreciate some story changes and then some that just really annoyed me scorpion especially now with all that said though why is this number five on my list it's mainly because of its content the content i feel is affecting it a lot because Gameplay wise, it's a I, I love it. It's great. And even though I I rage sometimes of how certain gameplay standards are, I'm fine with it. But the content is very lacking, especially because when you look at the price on this, it's seventy dollars, which is asking a lot for a fighting game. Because with this one, you're mainly the other single player content you have is of course story mode, which is mainly a four or five hour experience and you are mainly just doing fights you're not really interacting as much and then you also have the invasions now invasions okay invasions i'd say was it, it tried to at least do, be something by trying to be both the crypt and the uh conquest mode but it really just ends up being the World of Light mode from Smash Ultimate, and I was expecting a lot more with this mode, especially with how long it is, because I, I think whenever I just go into it, I'm just doing a bunch of fights, and then at some point, I just get interrupted by a bunch of, uh, whatever they call it, I think it's intruders, it's, it just stacks up over and over again, and I'm just sitting there waiting for the cost, I'm just going there like, can, can I just have the costume already? They try to expand a bit more. All, all those things aside, 
I, I enjoyed this MK a lot, and I'm hoping we expect a lot more content with this, especially because we have a lot more DLC coming along the way, because don't forget, we also have Ermac coming, we have Priestmaker coming, Homelander coming, and then Takeda's coming, and we also found out that we are going to get another story expansion, so we are getting a lot more coming. Resident Evil 4 Might be crazy, but ooh, Exo Primal is the multiplayer game I always wanted to, to to have in my hands, and now that I have it, I can tell you this is the most fun I've had with a multiplayer team-based game in so long. Because you have several different classes, you have a bunch of other classes that offer a lot more different experiences each time, and yet it doesn't feel as though one class is dominating the other and you can just play whatever you want you can have i've played one i'd say one class and yet i've had the most fun yet with that one class throughout my whole experience of course go back and forth and change between characters i'm not that insane where i'm just remitting i relegate myself to just do one class i did try a lot of other characters from time to time because i did i am aiming to get the uh the platinum trophy for this game and yet it is painful to get because you have to get kill a hundred thousand dinosaurs and i'm only at sixty three thousand <laughs> uh, hopefully i get it at some point because i i want that so badly because this game i i love going back into this i each time i go into it it's just kill dinosaurs fight between your enemies after the for the final match it's very simple and i love it for that because of course it combines it does what i was i wanted for a lot of other games um for this type of genre where you give a pve story mode and a pvp because that is probably the most surprising thing yet is how you're able to combine both pvp and pve into one while also telling a story mode because i'd say I'm not sure a lot of people are going to be interested with the story mode. I, I, I was, but I'm not sure much most people would. But I, it's still fun though. It does have the same problem though as Mortal Kombat One, where it's is 60 and there isn't much else because you can't really select certain modes as well, especially story missions. Because if you wanted to play story missions, you would just have to slowly progress through, which I understand. But I think it'd be better if you were able to just um, have that option to just select it. Because I think that'd be much easier for players. Especially for anyone who would just want to enjoy the story and do PvP missions. Alright, you ready? Why is a fridge entering a tournament? It's not easy, folks. Now, I'm going to bring this one clip up because this is what, what truly made this my game of the year. So, uh, this is the Fire Temple, okay? So, you're in the Fire Temple and then, you, of course, you have to do the thing where you have to do activate four different parts in order to fight the boss. So, of course, there was a blocked entrance. So, in my head, I thought of ascending under it because I, I tried everything. I just tried looking for any other way to get in. So I thought of, you know what, what if I just went under it? So I used the hydrants because with the hydrants, you're able to build a, uh, a platform 
for yourself so you can go uh go, so you can move in between the lava so that's what i ended up doing so i kept doing this and i want y'all to see the results here we go so hold on a second this is how i knew this was going to be a 10 out of 10 game so right here yep I get this, and I go up, and there we go. I I got in. I found my way through. <laughs> I found my way through. Did this is why I love this game so much? Cause you have full creativity to choose how you want to approach the game and that i think is what deserves game of the year is you changing how you can play the game you choosing your own way of doing it's pretty much what miles said in spider verse everyone's telling me how my story's supposed to go and you know what i want to do my own thing oh <laughs> i just remembered I forgot to put Mario Wonder in this list. Oh no! Oh no! They coming for me! They coming for me! I gotta get out of here! I'm getting out of here! FBI, open up! See y'all in the next year. Chaos Control.